Hi, I'm Jim Tomaszewski. I lead our product development efforts here at Stronghold in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I wanted to discuss a little bit about the differences between expanded metal and punched metal, which are two common materials that are made in ventilated cabinets. First, expanded metal. So let's talk about manufacturing process. So this expanded metal originally starts with a sheet, in this case probably about this wide. It's a small sheet, that sheet is slit, and then the entire material is expanded or stretched to cover a large area. The advantage of that is exactly that, it covers a large area, but the disadvantage is that it really negatively affects or takes away from the strength of the base material. In our case, we use punch metal. So punch metal starts with, in this case, a sheet of 14 gauge material and a punch actually individually, in our case with a 30 ton press, individually punches each of the holes. So one of the big disadvantages of expanded metal is really the strength and the durability as we talked about. Here's kind of like the shake, rattle, and roll of expanded metal. Whereas punch metal for our shake, rattle, and roll test, nice and sturdy. The second big disadvantage of expanded metal is how easy it is to cut through. This is a pair of standard wire cutters. Cut right through. There's a reason why you're locking up your valuables and your gear. It's for security. You really don't have peace of mind in that security with expanded metal. Here's our 14 gauge punch metal. <clears throat> Barely leaves a mark. In our final test, I cut away the entire expanded metal panel. So you have an expanded metal panel here and a punch metal panel here. Expanded metal, very lightweight. I can pick it up very easily. Bends very easily. Punch metal, still a structural solid piece of steel. When security and strength is important to you, expanded metal is definitely not your best option. We at Stronghold pride ourselves on strong, robust product, and we exclusively use punch metal.